Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. We're here in Massachusetts. Today is Thursday, uh, August 4th, and the moon moves into Scorpio at uh, 7.47 a.m., something like that, right before 8 o'clock in the morning here on the East Coast. As I do this, it is still in... Um, in <laughs> in Libra, but that uh, movement into Scorpio um, brings us to a deeper emotional uh, experience. When the moon's in Scorpio, we all feel very deeply. We tend to keep those feelings to ourselves, although uh, we do have Mercury, the planet of communication, today moving into Virgo. Um, and so Mercury... Um, helps us to put our our world into perspective. In Virgo, we are willing to roll up our sleeves, do the work, do the research, deal with the details of life um, to help us sort of move forward and understand where we're at. Where, where are we at really, right? So uh, that's very helpful. Virgo is up, is is the sign that's ruled by Neptune. Um, excuse me, no, not ruled by Neptune. X, X that out. Ruled by Mercury. So it's powerfully placed. Uh, Mercury's powerfully placed in, in the sign. So uh, if there are some details that you've been sort of had to deal with or work with or some work that takes a lot of concentration but you just haven't had your head into it, um, this is a time when that will shift for you and you will actually find yourself uh, getting around to some of those things that you kept putting off because you just didn't feel that you were up to it, perhaps. So uh, that's the value of Virgo. Value Virgo always uh, makes us willing to sort of roll up our sleeves and do the work that's necessary, uh, whether we like it or not. But usually Virgo enjoys the detail work. So even if you're not particularly detail-oriented, this is a time when you may find yourself a little bit more so. So that's that's neat. Mercury does make a supportive connection to the moon, as uh, Mercury now in an earth sign and the moon in a water sign. Those are both security-minded elements and sort of elements um, that, you know, sort of answer the question, what can I do to make my make my life more um, efficient to a certain extent but fulfilling perhaps fulfilling um, meaningful right so that's what's going on today we still continue to see there's a lot of revelations happening I don't know if you've noticed it but it seems like all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of folk uh, with their comeuppance and Things we've been waiting for for years. Alex Jones and the Sandy Hook parents waiting for years. Uh, the truth around the insurrection waiting for years. Cipollone gets uh, gets uh, called in uh, with a subpoena. The truth coming out. Um, Things are turning around. The Kansas vote, huge, 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 huge. Uh, the old ways will not work anymore. You know, getting rid of Roe was sort of an old goal, uh, decided upon in an old time. But the reality of our lives and the reality of our interconnectedness really sort of goes against, in its way, um, the, it's a new world. <laughs> and those people who think they're in charge better understand that because the old ways are not going to work. Which is good because a lot of them stunk, really, to high heaven. But even in our own lives, we can't... If you're looking to solve some problems, 
it's not going to be the old way. It, it has to include the new consciousness, the new realizations that you have about how connected we are and how much power we have uh, if we align ourselves to the truth. All right, guys, I am going to leave you here, uh, mainly because if I turn around, you'll still see a mess, and I'd rather leave you on something relatively pretty. So I got some peppers back there, guys. You see them? The red peppers. Yay. Uh, I did see some corn, like flowers over there on the corn, so that's neat. And uh, I don't see any pumpkins yet, but I'm not in there, so there's probably a couple of pumpkins in there as well. All right, guys, have yourself a wonderful day. Like, like and subscribe. We're going to have a scorcher today. Oh, my God, today and tomorrow. It's already. The sun's not over. It feels like I'm walking through a bathtub of tepid water right now. And once the sun gets up, it's going to boil that water. So it's going to be hot, hot, hot today. So stay cool, everyone, and uh, have yourself a wonderful day. The truth is coming out. The truth will set us free, and the truth will put some people in jail. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Much love. Namaste.